Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force! Since last time, I did a, another harvest run at uh, Lake Soleil there, and we're back here at the Dragon's Abyss to fight another arena battle. I've already fought three, at least three battles since last time, so now we can fight another one. So, this one should probably be just as easy as the last one. Uh, let's go with the, uh, the second one there. Uh-oh. Giant robots. I'm all for the glory. For boss time! Whoa, three of them! Careful, everyone! Totally impaired with three. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Nuts. Okay, you know what? I think Greek can probably take them all out in one shot with, uh, Earthquake there. Yep, it's all over now. For you. Haha! -ha! Don't mess with the liger. Especially one with an axe for a toothpick. Yeah, a lot of you have been saying that it looks like it's a toothpick in his hands compared to uh, Ignis on Cecilia's path. But anyway, for getting that, we or completing that, we get a regal edge. Uh, not really useful at all, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it just gives you a stat boost, as opposed to the aid cane, which is a stats. Uh, if I didn't say so before, items that provide, like, a straight stat boost, like, strength up, uh, those degrade over time, over the course of five rounds, like, 20% of that stat boost per round. Whereas pure statuses, like, um, uh, charge, or, uh, what's the other one called? Let's see, uh, yeah, charge and power status. Those last the same amount of time, but they never degrade during that time. So the, the statuses are a lot better than just boosting the stat directly. But anyway, we've got quite a few side quests to do here at Palfina now that we're in phase four. So let's go talk to the peddler guy again. Oh, sure, why not? My grandpa was a coin collector. He had like a couple hundred thousand dollars of uh, coins and stamps too. He was really big into that sort of thing. But anyway, okay, so uh, what we need to craft is a dexterous trinket. So let's see, there it is. Yeah, I don't have one yet. Nice thing about the dexterous trinket, by the way, is well, it improves your dexterity there. Uh, dexterity is pretty hard to get, but very useful in hard mode, because a lot of uh, enemies have much higher evasion and such. But uh, anyway, we got the trinket there. Give that to him, and in exchange, we get tiger skins, which are pretty useful for some crafting, actually. Okay, let's take care of that one. And let's see, what do we got equipped right now? Discerning... Okay, we'll keep the discerning specs on for now, but I'm going to want to equip those lucky lenses soon enough. Holy waters can never have been enough of those. Well, actually, you can. Not so much on uh, Levon's path, you really need them. They're more useful on Cecilia's path. Uh, speaking of reagents, by the way, uh, if you don't have a narcissist, go back to the altar in Erval and pick one up. Because, well, you're going to need one right about now. So, let's talk to this guy again. Hmm, I wonder. Now, whichever flower, or grass, I guess, you give him will influence the success of this side quest. The best one is the Narcissist. As it should be, because it's the most useful one that you can use. As far as, like, AP goes and stuff. Well, I hope everything works out for you, pal. Hey, hey, alright! Good for you. Do I get a reward? Hmm? Oh. Hmm. Let me see the log here. Yeah, so we got the Love Sing side quest now, but, well, you can't com totally complete it yet. There's three phases to it, and you can only do, at most, one per chapter or phase of the game. So, yeah, not much we can do there. Uh, let's see. Let's go up here, then. So, yeah, we'll complete that side quest over the course of the game. Not right now, though. And we'll need more items to give to him, too. 
One of which is the uh, lizard, rock lizard stew that I was uh, mentioning, or I cooked last time. Hmm? What's going on? Nuts. I wonder if they're talking about a side quest from uh, Cecilia's path there. Uh, I think this side quest is exclusive to Levant's path, if I recall correctly. For some reason, you can't get it on Cecilia's path. How many could there possibly be? Oh, just one? Oh. Nice eyeglasses you got there, by the way. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Well, you survived the last one. Yeah, you helped unlock the library for us, so why not? Well, we're humans, just the same as you. Besides, we're the actual competent group of the game. Sounds like a plan. So anyway, for talking to them, we get the Below Us side quest. And this one is probably the hardest side quest in the game. These guys, unless you're as overpowered as I am, are really, really, really powerful. Uh, if you are not nearly as powerful or developed as I am at this point, uh, you probably want to craft a lightning ring, and if you have enough uh, reagents, you can then craft a lightning ring into an arc ring, which gives you full lightning protection, while the lightning ring only gives you, I think it was 50% there? I, I didn't look at that part. So that's something you could do if you don't have enough for those. You may want to save this side quest until later, because, yeah, the enemies here are... Well, not endgame level difficulty, but they are pretty darn tough. And they will kill you with their AoEs. Anything that can protect against lightning would be really good. But anyway, okay, so what I want to do is go down to the library here. And we got another side quest from her. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Well, also, the place is locked, but... Nuts. Sure, I'll help you out. Why not? Why are you always having me check on these books, anyway? Oh, right, she's a librarian. I guess that's kind of her job. Still, wish working in a library would be that exciting, but sadly, it is not. Not that I've ever worked at a library, but anyway... Okay, so, what I want to do here, let's see, now, I want, well, you know what, let's leave the discerning specs on for just a moment. I want to check out the monolith, now that I have the discerning specs, maybe I can get one of the fragments from there. I'd like to at least demonstrate the side quests that these, uh, fragments are used for. Let's see, did I already get the treasures in here? Yes, I did. Okay, good, good. But anyway, from this one, we get white fragments. Yes, okay, that'll be very good for us. Okay, and now I want to equip the lucky lenses because, well, there's quite a few rare drops that I want to get in the near future. Or uncommon drops, sorry. I'm just so used to saying rare drops in RPGs because most of them aren't nearly as reasonable as this game is about them. But anyway, yeah, definitely save there. Even as powerful as I am, these guys can still really hurt you. So, let's see. You look at the map there. Yep, you can see where the monsters are. So, just take the long walk around. See, I don't think that we've uh, fought a boss down here yet. I mean, in that open area over there. Was that? I get the two pads mixed up. <laughs> oh, well. Gotta try and make everything symmetrical, or at least lined up, right? Uh, sure, why not? How hard could it possibly be? Nuts. It's an ambush! For boss time! Oh crap, this is really gonna hurt. Yeah, they get two attacks per round. Well, so far they haven't used any of their AoEs, so we're pretty lucky so far. Okay, one more, one more, if we can make it. Uh-oh. 
Okay, they didn't hit Greek. We're okay. We're okay. Yes! Okay, I survived. Okay, so, first things first. Earth Smash! Yeah! Got it. Whew! So anyway, for defeating uh, the Lots and the Alice Seed, uh, if you defeat the Alice Seed, the one guy in the middle there, with an Earth Elemental attack, you can win a Gravity Stone. Uh, also, uh, rare drops from the other guys called Lots, uh, they drop rare gold rings, which I managed to get two of them. All right. And those will be useful for crafting a, a Platinum Crown later on. The Gravity Stone is useful for crafting uh, Swift Boots later on. Oh, thank you for uh, transitioning me all the way up here. So yeah, that that could, I got lucky there. They did not use any of their. Uh, they have a multi-targeting attack that will kill you. And yeah, uh, what? That's it? That's all I get out of it? Heck, the drops I got from the monsters were better than that. Oh. But anyway, okay, so we got a Sano Cane, and now we have enough Force Points to max out another Ragnifact on Resonance. Uh, how are we doing there? Let's max out Levance. Because, well, he's pretty much going to uh, almost always be in my party. I mean, eventually, spoiler alert, we're going to get more party members. And, well, you can swap people in and out. So, okay, well, that's everything we can do here. Uh, let's go to the sealed library there to take care of the shadow side quest. So I'll just meet you over there then. Okay, we're back in the sealed library, the back of the sealed library there. And ooh, fast styles. You know what? I'm gonna save after getting those because those are relatively difficult to get. Those are, uh, well, they're rare harvests. I mean, they're easier to get later on. So if you didn't get them, don't worry about it. It's not that important. But I do want to equip Lucky Lenses on Irene there. Yeah, I should do that too, because I'm probably going to have to reset if I don't get the rare draft that I want from the boss of the side quest. Which is right over here. Oh, these ones can talk. Holy cow. What do monsters eat anyway, if, if there's nothing living around? No. Eh, we'll just kill them anyway. Just for fun. For boss time! This'll be tough. Okay, now the guy that has the uh, drops that I want is uh, the guy on the right there, the tiger looking one. Fortunately, they're all ganging up on one person. Okay, not anymore, but. Okay, so anyway, yeah, Ben. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll just call him Ban. So yeah, uh, you want to kill him with anything but fire or wind. So let's go do that. Uh, let's see, Cadenswa? Yeah, that ought to do. So, yeah, Void will work just fine. So that'll get you the element, or well, non-element drop from him. And let's see, there's something else I want to get from him too. Uh, yeah, you can win a Violent Fang from him too. But that's a rare drop, so if you don't get it, uh, reload your save and try again. Oh crap, he might miss because he's uh, afflicted with darkness. Or maybe not. Okay. Don't mess with the liger. I could have used the axes or Devasti's uh, amelioration or however you pronounce that to cure it, but I didn't see it until it was too late. Hey, hey alright! Oh wait, no, I didn't get the... Er, wait. Oh wait, no, the Violent Fang is the element drop. The rare drop is a King Fang. Okay, yeah, I need to try again. That's... Oh well. Celebrate it early. I'll be right back, viewers. No trouble at all. Okay, there we go. Now I got all the things I wanted. Violent Fangs. Uh, elegant Wings are good. Cursed... Bu Heck, all this stuff is good! Holy cow, I got all the rare drops! Wow. 
The important one is the Keen Fang, though, because you want to use those for crafting a Beast King band later. They're really good. Probably my favorite uh, piece of headgear in the game. Boosts your strength by 40. It's huge. Not so good on the defense, but we're so powerful anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, also, the, uh, the Keen Fangs are used for crafting Swift Boots later on. The best female exclusive uh, piece of footwear in the game. Hmm? Oh. Hmm. I suppose so. I didn't think about that before. And for completing this side quest, we get... We get... No, nah, we don't get anything for this one. Well, not yet. You'll see there. Uh, in order to get the reward for the side quest, you actually have to go all the way back there to get it. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying. And the reward isn't really that good anyway. I mean, it is unique, and I will show it in just a moment. But, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. But anyway, okay, so uh, after completing that side quest, though, or even before that, maybe, maybe a little before that, uh, you might have, uh, what is it? Uh, you probably might have completed a side quest that would, uh, tilt the vessel towards, uh, creation now. It was neutral already before, but now it's creation. So now we can open all those yellow chests that I missed earlier, or that I deliberately passed up on earlier to get the best rewards later, which would be now. And here we get the Nightmare Gem, yes! Now let's see, how many do I got there? See, we got four. I only really need three of them. Let's convert that. I could convert that other nightmare gem, but maybe I should save it for later to craft like a master gem, another master gem. I don't really need the the force points anymore. <laughs> so, let me see how we're doing. Yeah, we'll be fine. Maybe later on if I really need like five thousand force points. Okay, I'll probably wait until like. Well, later in the game. I almost spoiled something, but, uh... No, I don't want to do that just yet. But anyway, we got a couple more of those, uh, vessel or yellow chests here. They don't really have an in-game description. I don't think they ever really tell you that these are... The contents change, depending on which way the vessel is tilting. The only way I found out was from a Japanese strategy guide. And even then, I needed someone who could read it. Hmm. Light ring. Don't really care for that one. But, uh, anyway. Okay, so we got an Orb of Hope, basically the Mega Elixirs of the game. We could also convert those into Force Points, but, again, I don't really need that. Uh, let's see. That's attack power of 80. What do we got here? 140, 90. Yeah, even the Devasti is probably better than that. So, you know what? I'm just going to convert that. And convert the Light Orb. Okay, so, now that we've gotten all those, uh, let's see, I want to get that last chest from the library there, so I'll be back where we were there. Actually, I lied. I wanted to come back here to complete the last of the d rank battles at the Dragon's Abyss here. Might as well wrap things up. Normally, I would have done a harvest run before doing this one, but since the plot is directing us to go back there, immediately after I'm done with all these side quests anyway. I might as well wait until then to do that. So, let's do another one. See, so yeah, I probably need to fight, I think, one, two, one more battle after this to get all the harvest points to respawn. And reap the rewards from the Reaper for boss time! Oh yeah, a challenge. Uh, I don't think so, Greek, but, uh, you can pretend it's a challenge if you want. Uh, let's see. Let's Bring use Piercing Wind on him. Uh, that guy is weak to fire and light. And this guy is weak to fire and light. But, uh, hmm. I was about to use a fire orb on it to expose its... Or to, Well, because he's strong against the aspect of the Shine Trail. But, as you can see, it didn't matter anyway. So, 
even if you're not as overpowered as I am, the, the, the D-rank battles are just really, really easy, no matter what. So, but anyway, for completing that, well, we get another item there that I'm not going to use either. Oh, okay. Yeah, so basically that unlocks the C-rank battles, and if you want to fight more battles and grind into them, hey, go knock yourself out. Me personally, not so much. So, yeah, I'm going to save the C-rank battles for another time. N not, uh, not this chapter, or at least not until much later. So, okay, well, that's everything I can do here. Now I'll meet you in the sealed library to uh, get the reward from that side quest there. Okay, we're back, and, well, since we've, uh, okay, I can't see it on the map, mini-map yet, but, uh, well, since completing the side quest, for some reason, they have a chest over there now. So, let's go grab it. And, let's see, ooh, the scout specs. Uh, let's, let's see what those do. Let's see. Okay, so, hmm, I guess they just do that stuff, so. Yeah, not really that useful in this game because it's so much easier just to avoid them altogether to begin with. You could just surprise them. So, okay, well that's everything we can do here. Uh, let's see. I think that's all the side quests we can do now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, see where the game tells us to go. Back to Lake Soleil and return to Gardner. So, uh, you know what? Before we do that, though, let me check on Irene's equipment there. Okay, let's see. We want an Igneous Orb and an Electric Orb. So, and a uh, Hydra Cane. So, in order to make a Hydra Cane, yeah, I need an Aqua Orb. If I can get one. There we are. And make a Hydra Cane. There we go. So, let's give that to you. Then an Igneous Orb and an Electric Orb. And I'll craft another one eventually once I need it, so. Okay, well that's everything we can do here. Now I'll meet you back at uh, Gardner's place. Okay, we're back at Lake Soleil here, and uh, a couple changes I made to my setup here. Uh, let's see, the Vance is the same. I uh, equipped the Yahate on Irene there because uh, I don't need the Force Boost from the Force Come anymore, and you get a lot more defense from that. Uh, let's see, we want to equip the Long Cape on her now. Yeah, we can't get anything better for her, unfortunately. I don't think. But anyway, yeah, uh, lucky lenses, get better drops. Uh, handed down the tough bandana from Levant once we got once I crafted the draconic turban there. And okay, I think that's all the changes there. Let me see the headgear or er, body armor. Let's see, can you equip that? No. Yeah, we can't make anything better for her, unfortunately, so. Oh well. But anyway, let's head on over to Gardner's house and see if he can tell us any more about the uh, the digital fragments there. Might want to heal up before this part too, but I think we'll be fine. Hey, Gardner, anyone here? Uh oh, what are these guys doing here? I hope we're not too late. But, okay, so, uh, let's see, these guys, yeah, same as the ones that we fought at the Dragon's Abyss earlier. Uh, let's see, which one is the one that's getting its turn? That one. Wow, you're so vengeful, Irene. Eh, maybe I could've used, what was that? Force Burst on them. Oh, wow. Greek also has a Force Burst, uh, Berserk, which is really good. But I really only use it for single boss fights. Like if there's only one guy to fight and it's gonna take a while, which we haven't had yet. What the? Well, at least he's still alive. What happened though? Hmm? Oh yeah. Nice. Uh-oh. Sounds like a plan. I guess we don't need the Stitzel Fragments after all. But can we stop Faust from getting his hands on the Necronomicon? I mean, uh, however you pronounce that book. 
uh, Necrozoar. Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.